at the end of the shift, it's always good practice to cool a plating bath before you turn off the agitation and filtration for the night and let it sit for the night. We use plate coils that are electro-polished and immerse them in this rack into the plating bath. Because they're vertical, nothing will settle on them. And once we move the hoist out of the way, we're going to connect a sump pump and two hoses to the input and output of the cooling coil. You'll notice the plating bath looks very murky compared to a traditional electroless nickel bath, and that's because it's a composite diamond bath. This is a one plate medium phosphorus bath that contains diamond particles to make our composite diamond coating for exceptional hardness and wear resistance. Cooling a bath any type of electroless nickel bath is very important to lower the bath below its reaction level so that nothing continues to plate, especially in the absence of parts, when it's likely that the bath would then want to plate onto itself or onto anything that's in the tank, such as pumps or the tank walls themselves. So now the cooling coil is in the tank, the valves have been opened, and as you can see, water is being pumped from an adjacent rinse tank. At one end of the hose next to the camera is a sump pump. It is pumping the bath into, sorry, it is pumping the water into the cooling coil in one side and coming out on the other side. It is going back to the output hose back into the rinse tank. So no water is consumed in the process, extremely little energy is used, and this will cool the bath from its operating temperature to less than 120 degrees in typically about 15 or 20 minutes. It's an excellent procedure to do. It also saves energy because once the bath is cooled down, it is possible to then turn off the exhaust and all of the other equipment related to it. Let us know if we can be of any assistance helping you with this very simple method in your shop so you will have longer bath life, more consistent quality, less played out, and higher quality.